Warning, the following content is made for mature audiences only and not intended for children whatsoever. If you are a child or do not wish to see mature content, please click off this video. Thank you. That's just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around. Hey guys, Zach here from JVG Crew. I'm playing Mafia Definitive Edition. This is uh, the second video of Def Mafia Definitive Edition. Uh, last time, we just uh, finished getting some money from some gangsters. And now we are in the middle of a cutscene in the present. And uh, it seems to me that these levels are the past. So let's continue, shall we? Oh, I just skipped the fucking... <laughs> Whoops, I don't, I, I yeah, pressed the wrong button. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Oh. Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got shit. Holy shit. Holy fuck. And the cops just shit. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got the informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. Anton Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh? Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand for? Him. A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. He wants something to happen to the driver. Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wages will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. 
What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. I'm letting you out for the room. Hey, Kevin. Look at this half back. portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, hey, Buona sera, Tom. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. I to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. And then there's this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take him, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Ooh, okay. These sound nice. Oh, you. Let's go this one. Ooh. Oh, this thing is fast. Braking's pretty nice. Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Anything for the money. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a Dane than the Are you actually trying to give me whiplash? Well done, you gave me whiplash. <laughs> ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a Dane than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Open it. There we go. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. 1929? If they see this down the road, cops are going to ask questions. When they catch up, sure. 
Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Oh, man. This thing's got some crazy power. But the braking is shit. Oh man, I hate the braking. I can't even coast in this thing. Okay, but the maneuvering is nice. Holy shit. Okay, arrest the guy. Police car breaking the limit through the city. Go get him, boys. I think you ever gave I think breaking the limit is just an exaggeration. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hmm. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Okay, so that's a meter to prevent it from overheating. Did he cut the coolant? Oh, man. Oh man, this is harder to control than it was before. Look out. Yeah, stay back. I think misbehaving was uh, under 
exaggeration. I made it on time. Oh, you're back. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out. Worse. walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. Really? <laughs> What, he didn't call the cops? Nah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom. I don't know. It's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. That's a big responsibility. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Europe. We got the hot shot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. Well. They're lined up on the grid. Derp, 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 Oh, there's something up with this car. 
You're kidding me! What? Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Exactly. Ooh, he might have jinxed it. Oh yeah, it's the final podium places, baby. Yes! Finally!
Winners are winner. Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Just stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You ain't us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Yeah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul is getting drunk again. There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, there he is. I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said, this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a. You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the Don and your minds race. Then some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Whoever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Hate me to the ladies. Hate me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Hate me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. Yeah, not a know. good idea when Taking you're Taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? Uh, home? Brought me home. 
Maybe, maybe that. Yeah, a good idea. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I. I don't feel so good. Fuck. All right, I've been recording for a long time now, so um, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode or video. Goodbye.